Oh, I'm really proud of the team. It's uh, it, it certainly is a lot, as stressful as coaching is, a group like this really helps the stress level because I, I trust them so much. They're, they're well prepared, they're humble, they like to work hard, and they know what it's going to take to get what they want to achieve. You know, we want to win an SEC title. We're right there. We can taste it. And now we have to take care of business for two and a half more weeks. Uh, it, it's, it's in clear sight. It's not so far away that, that you can take a day off um, in terms of when you're in the gym, you know. You don't, I, I, uh, I just, I'm just really, really proud of, of the work they put in and how it's coming to pay off. You know, it takes a lot of character to really see the big picture, that we, we focus on our weaknesses and work on them, but we don't um, play them like they're going to make, they're, you know, they're going to be responsible for us losing. We don't think about losing. We think about the things that we do well and how often we, ha we have been doing them, and that's what we kind of, you know, base our strength on is what we do well, and let's keep, keep stressing that. And, uh, you know, we are getting improvements from our bench. We've got uh, players that are just continuing to be able to, to contribute. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, Angela Lowak, again, as a senior who's not getting to play, is probably the first one to stand up in the locker room and remind the team, you know, we are playing really well, but we must stay humble and take every day as it comes with a lot of hard work. And so with that kind of leadership, obviously, and how much they adore her, um, it, it helps the coaching staff out a lot. Oh, it's huge to have a Jazz Babers and a Sullivan that are hitting at the top of the conference in terms of attack. That's, that's the number one statistic that lets you know uh, probably where you have a chance to finish and how high can you finish. And we've got two of the, the highest attack percentage players in the league um, and also in the country. Honestly, I think Babers uh, at 4, 470 or I don't know what, some crazy number, is one of the leading attackers in the country. Um, with Steph Ipley, her numbers, it's not as clear for setters to see who's really producing, but when you've got an offense that's producing those kinds of numbers, then you must have a pretty darn good setter. And, and Ipley is um, incredibly humble, incredibly talented, and only getting better. And every day in practice after a mistake, it's she's not happy with herself and, and fixes it right away. And that's how they all three are. And, and it's actually caught on to everyone. They, they are not happy when there is a lack of production in the gym. And they, they call together, call themselves together. They, they figure out as a team what they need to change, and they make the change. And boy, that's, that's just a sign of maturity, and they've really grown a lot this season.